Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up, y'all? What up? This is Swayze. You already know I'm back with some more news from the towns. But before we get into that, let me introduce you people to my new and reoccurring best friends. And first up is Andre. And he says, do you like Adam 22? Ayo. Ayo, Andre. Did you just ask a man, did he like another man? Fire feed that. Volcano that. Lightning that. But thank you for the donation. I appreciate you. And next up, the bro. You already know. Holy cigarettes. And he says, shout out David Goggins book. Can't hurt me. Look at holy cigarettes out here educating the people. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I never read a full novel in my life. So believe me, if Swayze could live off of a bacon, egg, and cheese a day, you can accomplish anything. And if you too want to become one of Swayze's new best friends, all you got to do is hit that cash app or PayPal. It's honestly that simple. I'm from Brooklyn for real. You can literally buy my friendship. But let's get into the topic at hand. Now, if you seen my last video, we spoke on how Nazi got picked up for grazing a four-year-old. Now, police are on the hunt for the gunman who shot two innocent bystanders on the Upper West Side. One of them, a four-year-old boy who police say was waiting for a lift with his mother. News 4's Ida Siegel is live near Amsterdam Avenue and 94th Street with the search for the suspects who just drove off. Ida. And Gilma police believe the gunman fired from a silver sedan and then got away in that same vehicle. Their target was uh, just across the street behind me here, a man who was standing outside that corner bodega on Amsterdam and 94th Street. They missed the man. Uh, you can see plywood is still in front of the bodega, and that's where some of the bullets happened to land last night. Uh, but police say this all happened just after midnight last night. Hold on, hold on. 646. Sir, I'm trying to call his girlfriend. Like, relax. Three, four, two. I don't care. Six, four, six, three, four, two. Yo, Bill. Yo, what's the number? Six. That's my brother. He wants to give me his chain. Tell him the number real quick. Let's go. That chain needs to come with me. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. She's coming with me. Hold on. That's it. That's our chain. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's get the chain, bro. And right after that, S. Go went to his stories and said he'll be turning himself in and he loves all his fans. Well, it looks like S. Go turned himself in because he was involved in the same shooting of that four year old. He has been charged with attempt murder, the same thing that Nazi was hit for. So when you see that news article that says they was looking for two suspects, the second person that they was looking for was allegedly as Dago. Now I'm going to tell it to y'all just like this. I know in the last video, I say, yo, who, who do we got left? All of the sweepers is gone. And y'all was like, yo, Swayze, the J Hound disrespect is crazy. Like, at least they still got J Hound. But what I'm saying is this. If the only thing left they have is J Hound, they're no longer the sweepers. They're the sweeper. Because there's only one janitor on a job at this point. Bro, they're picking everybody up. So you're telling me that S. Go and Nazi was on the same trip that got that four-year-old boy shot? This is what you're telling me? Bro, like I said last time, you're innocent until proven guilty. But if they are guilty of shooting this little four-year-old boy, bro, them niggas like the stormtroopers. I don't understand. I don't condone any of this nonsense. But if you're gonna do it, can you at least hit your target? But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button.
but I'm off this. Yeah.